Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We got this new promo today, Winter Refresh. That was like the, sh the shortest load-in of a uh, loading screen I've ever seen in Foot. But regardless, we got Winter Refresh today. I wanna talk about all the content and I think there's a ton of stuff that we have to talk about today regarding market movements, regarding why some stuff dropped today on the market why some of these prime icons are the prices that they are, and of course, talking about these winter refresh cards, and in fact, more man of the match items that EA has dropped into the game today. And we'll talk about that timeline, talk about that kind of stuff, possibly trading with some of these cards and some other market movements that came today. So winter refresh, again, a lot of what we predicted from yesterday actually came out today. I feel like we, we were pretty close with this, but the main thing that we didn't expect is that this Winter Refresh team is basically a promo team that is not ones to watch cards. It's, based, it's a select group of players with tailored permanent upgrades to help improve your foot club. So basically, it's cards that EA chose uh, for some other reason, whether to crash another card's price or to fit a need uh, in the market. Like, you know, there's a, a right wing cornet. There's not a lot of right wings in the league gun, right? So they gave him a card. Makes kind of sense. But... That's the winter refresh team. We have icon moments, 89 new icon moments that highlight each icons at the peak of their career. New milestone player objectives. Uh, we'll talk about that. Kind of disappointed with those, to be honest. And then uh, new league SBC rewards, which is basically what we had last year as well. They added the new uh, upgrades to players with some very skimpy inform and special card upgrades. We'll talk about those. Kind of disappointed with that too. And then this, special packs, Twitch Prime player pick pack say that 10 times fast but if you guys have twitch prime i'll drop a link below in this video in the description if you guys have twitch prime or if you have amazon prime same thing uh you can get this pack for free it's basically a pack that they're going to give out if you have an amazon prime subscription you can get that pack into fifa ultimate team uh and i would love to open some of your guys's packs whenever they release them and make it available we'll probably do something on stream or uh some sort of share play situation uh, to open some of your guys's packs because those are usually pretty good packs and they actually give out a lot of the time so this is the link that they posted today kind of talking about the promo winter refresh join us for one of the biggest content updates of the entire year in fifa 20 blah 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 it is what it is i don't want to talk about icons too much today i want to acknowledge them and i want to like acknowledge what ea did with these but um for a lot of people this does not apply i'm going to talk about them a little bit because it is cool they juiced some of these icon stats today so it's it's freaking nuts what they did to some of these icons position changes they look great and the stat boosts again are huge um but it doesn't apply to that many people so we'll, we'll refrain from talking about that right now the winter refresh team and this is what i want to i want to start talking about this a little bit because again the way they worded it is that uh, they they have some real world club signings in here, but it's all about they just they just kind of picked and chose some random players and and made an SBC squad out of them or not an SBC squad they made a promo team out of just random players that they wanted to give upgrades to. That's kind of how it seems like they did this winter refresh team. Uh, those cards are going to be in packs for an entire week, so just one week for the winter refresh team. Um, and then, yeah, see here, it's uh, designed to help improve your foot club by filling either a position gap, aiding team building, adding depth, accessibility, or new options, whatever. So basically, they just strategically implemented some players into the game, uh, you know, just the EA way, dropping some special cards. I do rate some of the cards that they put in here. This is the team right now uh, for the Winter Refresh squad. Some of these cards are pretty cool, right? Um, you know... I'm a, I'm a huge fan of this Nico Schultz card. He should have got a once to watch earlier on in foot. I'm glad they gave him a card. Areola is, I think, a very strategic play. You know, where they talked about adding depth to your foot team. Um, you know, before today, Yoris was the only French goalkeeper that was like a top tier French goalkeeper in this game. So Areola um, is some competition for him. Of course, Zlatan is cool. Some of these guys are transfer cards, right? Eriksson, Ibrahimovic, Zlatan Ibrahimovic, and Bruno Fernandes, who is right now extinct at 1 million coins. Uh, Chiesa is okay. This is the coronet I was talking about um, with the lack of right wings in the league on. So that's a cool card. And then I think the, you know, there's some guys down here on the bench too. I have no idea why Florenzi is 204,000 coins at the moment. That's way overpriced in my opinion. Bernat is a very interesting card because we don't have any outside backs from PSG, any special cards. I'm a fan of this one, especially if you need that Carrere link. 
Uh, this will be an interesting, you know, possible investment. Not the best card ever, but still, just the fact that you get some links there is huge for this card. And then this Mateus Cunha card. This one is 300,000 coins right now. He gained some popularity with this SBC version, and now he has an 87. This is a pretty cool looking card. I think a lot of people are interested in this because it's Brazilian and it's in the Bundesliga. And that's a combination that you don't see a ton of times. And it's just, it's a nice looking card. Four star, four star. He's got a pretty big build. He's six foot um, and he's 75 weight, 184 centimeters. So I think he's kind of a bigger guy in game. Only 77 strength. Um, but it looks like a pretty fun card to use. And I think this league SBC people have said it's a very good card. So I think people are pretty stoked about this Matthias Cunha card for Hertha Berlin, no longer, um, with Leipzig, but still in the Bundesliga, still Brazilian. So he's got some hype on that one. And then of course, Ake, I think this one needs to be talked about. Um, this card, Ake is, it's basically like a, a substitute for VVD. If, if you've been using VVD, you want to try somebody else out. Is this guy as good as VVD? Absolutely not. There's no way. 200K though, you can get some links there if you want to. I wanted to start talking about the prices of these cards just a bit now before we talk a little bit more. These guys kind of got cheap, like the second or third hour of lightning rounds. 186K for this card. He went up to 230K. You can see he's back down to 210. Who else did this? There was somebody else. Ericsson. Ericsson was down close to 300,000 coins flat. And has risen now back up to almost 400k yeah 324 and then boom he's almost back to 400 so what that tells me is these cards have a pretty high pack weight a lot of times when we see a new card a new set of special cards come onto the game and they they have that you know second or third third hour low point and they rise after that that to me is a high pack weight standing i actually haven't checked in the store I don't know what kind of packs we have out right now, but whatever packs we do have, I should be able to see the percentage. We have 100K packs. What's their percentage? 4.3%. So that's a little bit higher than average. Last week um, with the FFS players, those were around 3.2% from 100,000 coin packs. So these cards are a little bit less rare on the market than uh, some of the FFS cards were. And I think even... Uh, excuse me, that yeah, less rare, more supplied than the FFS or the headliner. So that's just something to think about with these players is that they might have a little bit extra supply compared to, you know, maybe a, the past couple sets that we've seen. Uh, but again, like EA said, some of these cards in these squads kind of fit a niche or fit an area of squad building that was hard before. And that's why I like Nico Schultz because left backs in the Bundesliga, of course, for tradable ones that you actually have on the game, we've had Footmas Rusillian, we've had Alfonso Davies, and then like Philip Max is like the only other left back in the Bundesliga that has been somewhat usable that we have to use. And now we have Nico Schultz who is on the game, right? So I'm a fan of this card because we actually have one of these Bundesliga left backs that links to a lot of players that is on the market. And that's very important in my opinion, that this card is actually on the market. Of course, we have another left back from the Prem, Van Anholt. It is what it is. That's another left back from the Prem. We've got plenty of those this year. And then the rest of the team, you know, it's just okay. It's fine with me. Herrera, okay, fine. Chiesa, it is what it is. Uh, Zhao Victor, all right, it is what it is. But one thing I want to point out about these cards, and I, I think a lot of people are, are imagining that the, this is Winter Wants to Watch. This is not Winter Wants to Watch. Again, um, it says these players will receive a uniquely tailored permanent upgrade. So these are not live items. Um, but you might see these cards react as live items once we start seeing them play in games. I would not be surprised if, let's say, one of them has a good game. Uh, if, if any of them are playing this weekend, let's say somebody has a good game. I would not be surprised if you see some of these cards rise in price because some people are probably still under the impression that these cards are winter ones to watch. So those are my thoughts on the winter refresh. Decent cards. We'll see what happens throughout the rest of this week. League SBC Challenge Update. They mentioned this beginning with Winter Refresh and throughout the course of Foot 20. Every League SBC will be upgraded with another player. Dope. Okay, please. Thank you. Uh, or thank you for doing this, not please. Actually, yes, please, EA. Give us better players from League SBCs. Make League SBCs worth doing because this entire year it has not been worth doing. Uh, until today, I mean, you have the winter refresh version of Verity in here, which is not a bad card. That's what the card should look like from the beginning, man. The 87 Verity, that's what SBC cards should look like from the beginning, unless they're coming out right away. Dalbert and Tonali aren't that bad, because um, this came out pretty early in the game, this SBC. 
But a Verity card like that, that's what we want from League SBCs all the time. That's a really nice card. If you're doing League SBCs, that's going to help you out a ton to have a player like that in your squad. League objective player update. I want to talk about this next. I'm not as huge of a fan of this. And then also the most improved player upgrades as well. So let's talk about upgrades now because I think this is the next big point that we need to talk about. Okay, so I have Politano, right? And the only way you're going to be able to see these next level upgrades is if you already have the player. So I have Politano. And if I want to upgrade my Politano to the Serie A League player upgrade, um, I'm only able to see this if I have Politano in my club. If I don't, then this is locked. And why the heck do I have to do a... Why do I have to go do another milestone objective? Why do I have to do anything else? To get my card upgraded because if before the way that it read at the top it says right here complete this set to earn untradeable rewards hold on to the group reward for an additional upgrade opportunity when i when we first read that and when we all first re read that we just thought the card was going to get upgraded like that well come to find out we actually have to work for it um so politano with a nice little ratings boost you do have to actually work for it you have to score a goal using this card in six separate wins with a full Serie A squad, and then you have to assist seven crosses with that one card, um, and then score three finesse goals in rivals. So it is a little bit of a grind to get that upgraded Politano. Is it worth doing? I mean, it's a decent upgrade, plus three pace. What else? He's got 84 and 80. So like plus plus three and plus four shooting and passing. So it's a, it's a really, really solid looking card. And if you think you're going to use him for the rest of the year in whatever squad you're rocking, of course, now he gets better links, in my opinion, to all the Napoli guys. If you have Footmas Malqui, you've got Mertens, if you've got Allen, you know, he links really solidly to those guys. So that might be a little bit of an extra, you know, push for you to get this card. But I still feel like I wish they just give us the upgrade right away. Why do we have to work for it even more? That does not make as much sense. To me i also want to talk about the new top 50 players that got upgraded today so timo verner's 83 rated card changed today to an 86 i believe does he have any 86s on the market boom right there timo verner 86 rated card is on the market he got no pace boost the stat boost on these cards from like the 83 to the 86 is barely anything man this should be an inform upgrade i mean he did get a plus three shot he got plus four pace so then, I mean, this this upgrade from the base card is it's okay, but then the upgrade from the informs was like nothing. These informs barely got upgraded at all. There's not a ton of hype for them. Um, there was some panic selling on these today. If you were able to get in, I bought some Timo Verners for around 105,000 coins for to to flip quick flip. He says he's 110 right now. I think I got a sale at like 117 with one of my Timo Verners already. Yeah, it looks like this one's an undercut at the moment. 110. It is a 110 and a 115. So just watch these cards, man. I would watch these cards because they are upgraded now. And that gives them a little bit of extra hype. Um, they are upgraded a little bit. And a lot of these got panic sold off today because they got their upgrade. It was just very minimal. I saw that with Vardy as well. Jamie Vardy's card. I'll take a look at him in a second. Um, Jamie Vardy's inform was like 60K. And now it's down to 40 because of people selling the card after it got the inform boost, just stuff like that was was really pre prevalent and really common today to see. Looks like Jamie Vardy might be back up a little bit now. So he was 40K, now he's 44 after his, his little bit of the upgrade. Um, and then same thing with the headliner Vardy as well. Trent Alexander-Arnold was down today. I mean, there's a little bit of a flip opportunity with some of that stuff, and I think I did actually sell one of my Verners. Did I sell my Verner? Mr. Werner, there he is. I sold him at 117,000 coins. So I did sell Werner today. That was a GG. Um, bought that at 105. I think I have one more left. So that's some stuff you can continue to look for if some of those upgrades are low. Another card that got upgraded today but didn't really drop as much was Holland. Um, and this is another, another card that we should probably talk about because he got a Player of the Month SBC today. Player of the Month Holland is out and it is overpriced. Actually, he's kind of down now, 283. That's a little bit lower than what he was before. But again, the stat upgrades on the informs today were just very, they're just very meh. They were just not, not up to par with some of the other stuff that we have seen in this game in terms of upgrades. But we did get a Holland player of the month, 89 rated, 92 pace, 91 shot. But I think this SBC is pretty overpriced. How much does this cost right now at the moment? Actually, we're going to talk about high rated cards next, but th this SBC is just, it's overpriced in my opinion. This is a 830,000 coin card 
to do this SBC right now with um, the fact that high rateds are low, man. High rated cards are low across this entire game. And this card is still 830K to do. Stay away. I'm not a fan. Way too overpriced in my opinion. We also got an Icon Moments kit. Didn't mean to click on my squad. We got an Icon Moments kit today as well. So if that interests you, go pay. It's like 20K for that kit SBC. So that's a little bit... Um, I might consider that a little bit of an L as well. Last thing I want to talk about. Actually, not the last thing. Next thing. We had some interesting market movements today just for a little bit of time around Manchester City players. Riyad Mahrez today, Champions League, UCL, road to the final. Riyad Mahrez had some interesting market movements today because, yes, because of the fact that City... Wow, he's, he's still kind of low, man. 146, this card's dropped a lot. This is an interesting point that I think we can make here, boys, because City is City received a two-year ban from the Champions League today. I'm not going to get into the drama of it all or anything like that, but the fact that this card is down 20K is a... I think it's an investment opportunity. I haven't been watching this card that much all day, but the fact that he's down this much is an investment opportunity to me because... City is still in the Champions League this year. They are not getting kicked out of the Champions League they are currently a part of. They will not be able to participate in the next two Champions League. Um, that's what that means. If they, if this, if this, what is it, ban is upheld. So um, this card right here at 140K, in my opinion, is kind of a buy because today he was like 160K. Like, okay, he was 130 at a point, but he was 160 this morning which is kind of his normal price. And the fact that he's down now to 140,000 coins, um, it just goes to show that people aren't people aren't thinking this card's gonna get upgraded. And in fact, they're gonna stay in this current competition. They're not pulling them out of this current one. The next one they won't be in, the next two. So this card right here, if you can, if you can snag him under 140K, I'm actually a fan of that because I think people are gonna realize quickly that yes, they're still in the competition. Yes, he can still get upgraded. So that's my understanding on that. Um, because I originally thought too, that they were not going to be able to continue in this competition based on what that wordage said, but actually they are. So they're not getting, they're not getting kicked out of this competition. They will still be in it. That's a card that I want you guys to watch because it could easily be back up to 160 K this next week with champions league stuff. And I'm going to talk about that a little bit as well. And then the last thing I want to talk about is the moments from today. I want to talk about moments just a little bit and then man of the matches, for a little bit as well it's going to be a little bit longer of a video as you might have been able to tell but remember when prime icons came out earlier this year when we talked about prime icons they were very rare they were very overpriced and if you were somebody who likes to trade with icons it was like big time money because people are especially with these new prime moments icons people are itching to get on these cards on the market because they have dynamic images, they're cool, and because, you know, they're just straight awesome. They're just straight awesome. Some of these upgrades and some of the stuff that EA has done to these new Prime Moments cards. So, at the moment, if you're somebody who has interest in getting into one of these cards, I would say to you, be very, very, very careful because these cards are very overpriced, they're very rare. But if you want to try to flip them, you want to have the big balls flips, it is definitely an opportunity to do some of that if you're interested, right? Just watch what you have to constantly watch that card, constantly realize what it sells at, and you might be able uh, to get a flip because of that. So right now you see like this right card's at 1.8 mil. The next cheapest one is 1975. I don't know where he's been selling at, but there was one with a bid on it. Um, and of course you have position changes, man. These icon moments are sick. They juice them a bunch. I would love to get my hands on one of these. They're really, really expensive. Um, but again, like this Rio card today, I have one on my transfer list, 3.2 million coins right now. Earlier today, he sold for 6 mil. Somebody sent me a DM of this card selling for 6 mil. People will pay the big time bucks as they try these cards out because some of the stat boosts are honestly pretty, pretty insane, pretty nuts. So if you're somebody who likes to trade with icons, this is kind of like a, a heaven for you. Wow, look at this, a 9 mil open bid on Thierry Henry. I'm going to go ahead and watch that um, and see what happens with that card because I feel like that one's gonna get some bids laid down on it. But again, this is pretty crazy content today with, uh, you know, not like amazing content. I feel like the upgrades for the general user base, the content today was just okay, was not fantastic. I think it'll get better as we go on through the week, but if you're somebody who appreciates icons, 
then uh, this content for you is unbelievable. If you've got millions of coins, this content for you is sick because these cards are, their their upgrades are, are dope and it's a big time dub for you. But last thing I wanna talk about, man of the match items. And again, I'm recording this right now. It is 9.13 p.m. Eastern US time, which is like what, 2.13 a.m. UK. These cards are in packs for three days and 21 hours and I'm documenting this right now because I have a feeling again, that on Wednesday of this next week, these cards are supposed to go out of packs. What is it? Three days and 21 hours from now. Maybe they actually fixed it. Uh, I have to do my math. But whenever these cards go out of packs, I'm going to make sure that they actually do. Or I'm going to be tweeting at EA FIFA Direct again with the proof of what we're talking about right now. Because these cards last week did not go out of packs at their prescri prescribed time. That kind of ticked me off, man. Because I still have my Deli Alleys that I invested in. And it's just false advertising to begin with. So... The new ones this week, I think Awar is one of the most hyped up of the, the new ones to watches, which to be honest with you, this card being 12, 13,000 coins, I think is very undervalued. 12K for Hassam Awar is very undervalued. Um, of course, we do have Rebic as well. Muniain, Rebic, and Awar. Are, this is a little bit lesser of a group of ones to watch. It's not as good as the last one, but those three guys, Muniain, Ante Rebic, and Hassam Awar are the ones that I'm interested in the most. Obviously, Rebic has got a, a pretty solid looking card. This one's left mid, um, similar to his 83 inform, which was extinct for a while because of Croatian objectives. Back for um, whatever card was out, some Croatian card. I forget what it was. I don't know. I don't remember what that was for, but he was extinct for a while. But this is a pretty solid card. Four star, four star, left wing in the Serie A. 86 physical too, which gives him a boost and gives you a reason to use him instead of like a Douglas Costa who has like no physical, right? So this card looks pretty solid. He's 85K at the moment. I'll be watching this card throughout the week as a possible investment. Mooney Iron as well does not look too bad. Of course, if you got Inaki Williams, that's a nice little link right there between those two. This guy is 20,000 coins for an 86 rated um, special card. Four star skills. You know, not the best card ever, but solid. And then I think Awar is pretty cheap already at 12K. I might actually pick a few of these up right now. And try to flip in the morning because I know a lot of people have the 87 LR and that these this card's stats aren't incredible. But to tell you, you're telling me this card is 12k. I think that's a little bit ridiculous, in my opinion. That this card is all the way down at 12,000 coins already. So if I can snag one at 12k or under, I'm probably gonna do that. I could easily see this card being closer to, you know, maybe 17, 18,000 coins in the morning. Uh, UK time that makes me want to talk about one last thing again This video is getting really long and I apologize for it But there's just so freaking much to talk about today index special The market is down in a lot of areas. Why is it down especially with special cards? Number one reason why it's down is because people are panic selling all those upgrade cards that didn't get upgraded stuff They invested in for winter upgrades is getting sold off because obviously it's not getting upgraded. It didn't go as planned. The way they did winter, winter refresh this year changed. And um, just because if people are losing coins and a lot of times, you know, people today I could tell were probably selling some cards, trying out some of the new winter refresh cards or even selling all their cards to go try out one of those moments icons. And I think that's why you saw some of this drop off on the market today. High rateds are down to a very viable price. Again, in my opinion, 87s at 20K, 88s at 27. If you have not club stocked, please, please go and do so uh, at the moment. And don't forget to pick up maybe some of the new uh, upgrades, right? And Diddy is an 84 rated player. This and Diddy card and this Martinez at 3K. That's a big time buy in my opinion. Onana is the cheapest 85 rated K player by 2K. Pick a couple of those up too if you want um, because of those upgrades. So for whatever reason, it looks like the new newly upgraded gold cards have some sort of like high drop rate or something. I'm actually going to go buy an Onana right now. Uh, but I think we're going to start seeing SBCs start to pop up uh, in this promo. I was surprised that we did not see one today. Uh, ah, now I know why they're now I know why these cards are cheap, right? Because they're hard to find in the market because you have to find them with the 82s already in there. So that's kind of an interesting situation with these. Uh, with the new the new upgraded card so maybe a nana action isn't six and a half k maybe a 7k still that's pretty cheap in my opinion if i can find an 85 but uh just be careful when you're buying these there's gonna be a lot of people try to trick you by listing the 82 up or for whatever reason at, like around the price that that 85 would actually sell for so again just be just be pretty cognizant of that and be careful with that 
Um, but I think you're going to see more SBC content throughout the week, rest of the week this week. So buying into high rated right now, at least doing a club stock is a fantastic idea. Of course, the Neymar player of the month card is on the horizon. That voting ends today on Saturday, like 24 hours from right now, midnight when this video would go up. Um, I think it ends at, it ends at, uh, midnight Saturday into Sunday, like in France. So that's when that voting ends. That could be a big time SBC. I wouldn't be shocked if we had that mid icon SBC actually come this next week, team of the week SBC and stuff like that. I'm feeling a lot of coin suck coming out of this promo. So get in on some of the high rated now club stock if you can. Again, tons of content that came today. We'll continue to break it down in the next couple of days as we get more content, as we realize more of these things, as we have more lighting rounds, we'll talk about stuff uh, and just kind of the state of the market as well. So if you enjoyed today's video, smash a thumbs up on it. If you have comments or any stuff that you'd like to say about the new promo, drop it in the comments below. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.